Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for subscribing. We appreciate your support. Okay. Uh, I mentioned back in August that we were going to do a raffle for the referrals and didn't get a chance to. We got wrapped up with life and we didn't get a chance to do that on camera. So we're going to do it right now before we jump this video off. This is uh, our appreciation uh, for anyone who used our referral code and we're just going to do it just like this. Pull up the wheel. We've got some names here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Spin it real quickly. And we got a winner. Micah. Micah, thank you so much for using our referral code. Uh, reach out to us uh, on the YouTube channel or on, on X. Reach us directly and we're going to go ahead and ship you out a prize. And what that prize is going to be, let's find out. Here we go. We've got our prizes up now. Let me see if I can get it in focus. It's a little dark. Spin that wheel. And you've got the Tesla sipping glass. That's the Tesla sipping glass, uh, sort of a decorative piece that you could use in your house. Definitely a cool item. We want to get that out to you as soon as possible. So reach out to us and let us know your details so we can get that right to you. And again, thank you for the support of using our referral code. All right, now we've got the latest update, FSD beta version 11.4.7.2, which is one further than the one that went out to employees, 11.4.7.1. And this is the latest update. Um, this is uh, probably gonna be different now that I had my lovely no nag version. I'm probably gonna get tons of nags on this one as we prove that Nags kick back in for whatever reason, whoever pulled, you know, told on us and ratted us out. Uh, we have nags now, but let's just see what this one does in relation to the other builds in terms of our test pass. So we're going to do that right now. In an attempt to not have a similar situation, I won't mess with the speed at all. Uh, just to make sure that that's not the thing that was impacting us in terms of us not having nags. But let's just see how far it goes and see what it does. Night smooth stop. And then it kind of goes for it. Yeah, it kind of went for it and saw a car, two cars, and stopped. I like the hesitation there. Car's turning. Pretty aggressive here. I like that. That's the pothole that a manhole that it can't get around, so I'm okay with that. But I like the aggressiveness and the assertiveness of it trying to get out there. That was pretty cool trying to go uphill, get enough speed to jump out there, waiting for the right moment. I saw a car was turning and then jumped out there and got really aggressive to get out there. Now it just needs to make sure it gets up to speed, whatever that set speed is, and we're good to go. First turn here, slowing down, getting over to the shoulder. Good mile an hour, 10 mile an hour, very good. Passes turn number two. Car is coming. Good job with the speed on this one. Still use the turn signal on the curves, which is okay, but good job on the speed. It's maintaining the speed this time versus slowing down uncontrollably on these winding roads here. So that, I think that's a good step in the right direction. So far, so good. We're off to a good start. Again, my hands are here. My knees are not, in, not impeding here. I haven't adjusted the scroll wheel, so no nags just yet, but I'm sure it's going to kick in any minute now as we come up to our unprotected left. Good job on the winding road. Good job on the first turn and the second turn, despite the traffic. And here we go for the unprotected left turn. Let's see what it does. Again, no cheat devices, nothing here. Just the build itself. I'm sure once we get on this road, it'll nag us. All clear to go all the way through and go. A little hesitation, didn't press anything. Okay, so that's good. It's an improvement. Still a little bit more hesitation than I'm comfortable with, but still kind of got out there and committed. Once it committed, it went. Once it committed, it went. So I like that. Again, just a little bit more confidence because no one was around at all. It could have just went straight from the stop, creep forward, and then go. It went from the stop, creep forward, Wait a little bit, almost in the middle of the road, but not quite, and then go. So again, market improvement over previous builds where it kind of stalled 
on that unprotected left. Okay? Uh, and also, so far, so good. I don't know what the time check is, but there we go. Oh, wait, it went away. See that? So it may, be, it may be a bug here. I'm not touching anything, and the sign kind of popped up and went away. So it may be a, something wrong with my car or something right with my car where the nag kind of is being satisfied somehow, some way, some other way than me touching it. Again, I'm not touching anything here uh, at the knee level because it's the yoke, it's kind of hard to do anyway. I'm not pressing anything, I'm not touching anything. It just kind of did its own thing. Going around this person, which is good, give them enough room, but over the double yellow, not the greatest. Being waved on, it doesn't understand that. I'm gonna give it a little bit of press there because it doesn't understand waving on and then it proceeds. Uh, this is a weird time, but also a good time in that kids are getting out of school. School buses are plentiful right about now. I typically don't like to go now, but this is a good use case for FSD beta, especially for scenarios where, hey, I wanna go pick up my kid from school um, or do something at this time of day. This is where FSD beta will need to shine. Car backing up, does it see it? Does it see it? It does. Just trying to go around it. Good job stopping for the car and not trying to go around it. Excellent, excellent job there. Let the person go. They didn't use any type of, of uh, visual communication to, to tell other than the fact that they were reversing out. Stopped and let them go as opposed to going around. I kind of thought about going around initially. And that open door is kind of causing it some issues here. But again, caution and cautiousness is, is always a good thing. that call out of here all right here we go good job so far these traffic lights good job in that busy uh, section door opening just being overly cautious is we somebody's really trying to get my attention didn't even have the cameras up but i'll put the cameras up now um being overly cautious is not a bad thing it was okay it didn't impede didn't hurt anyone so it's all good but so far so good uh, we've got all the other new features that the 20, this build has to offer, including uh, the turn signal cameras up at the top, which now you won't see because I have the cameras up here. Now, interesting scenario here. This is actually going to be a different deviation from our yard test case because we can't get over the train tracks because this road seems to be blocked off. So I'm interested to see what direction it takes, and I'll just let it go. So this is where we'll depart from our typical use case in terms of comparing it apples to apples to the other builds and uh, let this be its own thing. So it can't go straight. I don't know if it can read the sign. I may need to intervene, in which case I will go to the right. I will go to the right. Let's see what happens. Cones are here. Now it says apply slight force because it needs my help. It doesn't know what to do. I'm going to go this way. All right. Let's report that. Autopilot did not know how to handle construction detour. That's expected. Nothing wrong with that. Didn't know how to handle it. We'll go the back way. Now, interesting. Train tracks are here. What's it going to do? Cars are going so it can go straight over, but it shouldn't stop. Getting around this truck. Turn signals, unnecessary, but whatever. And we have an always stop up here. So it still does not, not know how to adhere to construction zones. And that makes sense. And it also warned me to take over or to take the wheel, touch the yoke or whatever. But that's the scenario where it should ask for, my, for me to take over. Let's see what it does here. Creeping up. Stopping. It has the right of way. The person doesn't go. Car coming. I'll take over here just because it's a tight squeeze right there. All right. So we're pretty much here where we need to be. Too far in the middle of the road. It's going to get over when the car comes over. Um, but we're pretty much here. And I'll stop there. It wasn't going to go there. It was just getting closer to the car so we can let the car pass. But that's it. Interesting use case. Uh, 
interesting that it was able to deviate us because of the construction from our normal sort of test scenarios, but interest, interesting nonetheless. I'll pull over right here. Um, so that was pretty good, but also very telling of where we are with uh, FSD beta in terms of its capabilities, right? So first and foremost, let's talk about the part where we actually did the normal test path to the point that we could. I think the car did a great job. Um, the test drive that we did or the test path that we did where we had no nags was clearly an eight out of eight across the board. I think that still stays. I think this is um, pretty much uh, on par with that, right? On par with that in terms of its performance. So I'm gonna also give it eight out of eight in terms of everything it did uh, today, right? To the point that obviously, you know, it, we, we could uh, continue down the same path. The part that we needed to deviate, those were the weird areas. And I don't wanna judge it based on that because those are scenarios where you should take over for FSD construction zones. It's not ready for that. We know that it's not ready for construction zones. It's not ready for scenarios where cars are oddly parked or pulling out and, you know, the, a truck is parked too close to the corner and another car is coming like that last stretch we just did. Those are scenarios where you definitely do want to take over because FSD beta is just not equipped to handle that. It's not equipped to communicate to other cars to say, hey, you go or you stop and let me go. Things like that. So I think in that regard, it still needs to work. Definitely needs, you know, definitely needs some attention there and it definitely needs some uh, uh, some progression in that area. But we're taking baby steps. And in the vein of baby steps, yes, eight across the board in terms of safety, felt completely safe um, in terms of comfort, very comfortable, very human like in terms of its driving, especially that first turn where it sort of tried to get out there and waited a little bit, hesitated, waited for the cars to pass and then proceeded to go with some with some acceleration and, and some intention. So that was good. Uh, and then in terms of decision making, made all the right decisions, even going over the double yellow line for the person opening the door, just giving that extra sense of caution. Not something you or I might do, but it's something that we expect the machine to do out of an abundance of caution over human life and human safety. So I think that's always a good thing. Right. And then last but not least, in terms of um, confidence, it had a lot of confidence, a lot of confidence in terms of everything it did. Again, especially that first turn. The unprotected left was also pretty confident, comparatively speaking, to the rest of the times it has done it. So again, I want to stick with that eight across the board. So, so far, 11.4.7, uh, the build itself and subsequent builds have been solid and given me eight out of eight on our test path. Not the complete build itself. It's not great, you know, maybe, maybe not great in all scenarios. It may not have the right lane selection still. It may not be able to... Um, make the right decisions all the time. But on this test path, on this particular sequence of events, we give it an eight out of eight, which is trending in the right direction, a positive direction of growth, going one step further than it did before in terms of 11.4.6 and all the previous builds before it, but obviously still needing work where needed. We're gonna take it for some more test drives. We're gonna see how it performs in other scenarios, um, other use cases, specifically lane selection, which seems to be the, the major issue, constant issue across all testers across the states. So we'll take it for a drive and see what that looks like for us on the Northeast and go from there. Okay, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think about this drive? What do you think about this uh, build? If you got it, if you didn't get it, you're probably in 11.4.4 hang tight you might be getting it soon now that we've elevated to the next build um, me personally i'm loving the new features i'm loving the turn signals and all the other new features that the uh this build brings us which brings us to parity with the rest of uh the main branch in terms of features and we've already done the, the feature comparison with our x and that is our model x not x the platform uh and so we were able to see that video as well and be able to see what new features are came, have come out okay until the next time enjoy your day enjoy your tesla